What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Capsule side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's in the description box below. Just saying, just saying. All right. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Love you guys. Okay. So, um, I received a channeling this morning. I honestly wasn't even going to do one today, but I'm here just saying. Okay. So the channel message I received was, um, someone, I heard an air sign. They were supposed to give you a very public apology. I heard approximately a year ago, but through many series of chain events, they weaseled their way out of it. I heard, however, this time it's, um, <clears throat> It is not going to happen. They're about to have to give you a public apology whether they want to or not through any series of chain of events. I heard they're not going to want to do it. I heard they're very narcissistic, um, but they're going to have to be forced to do it. So you plug it in how it resonates, whoever you are and how this applies. I didn't hear a sign on you, but I did hear it was an air sign. And I heard it was supposed to happen approximately a year ago. So we're September 29th of 2022 right now. It was supposed to happen approximately a year ago. So end of September of last year to October of last year, I'm presuming. But somehow they weaseled their way out of it. But um, there is huge events that's already happening and more that's about to happen regarding this situation. They're about to have to do it. Whether they want, and they do not want to. Okay, so you, ooh. Okay, so there's huge events that's already happening regarding some kind of situation. They should have publicly apologized to you, public apology, a year, approximately a year ago. But somehow they weasel their way out of it. But there's something huge going on regarding, I guess, the situation at hand of why they should have apologized to you approximately a year ago to begin with. That's already going very public and more events that are about to happen regarding this that's about to go very public and um, it, it sounds like negative here. I feel like picketing or rioting or something like that. I didn't hear that. That's just kind of energy I'm feeling like big energy, but big negative energy. Whatever the hell it was, it was huge. But uh, but I heard through many series of chain events, they're about to be forced to give you an apology. And I heard they don't want to because they're a huge ass narcissist. So but it doesn't matter if you're a narcissist. It doesn't matter. If you owe somebody an apology, you that's the right thing to do. And especially if it's a public apology, it's something fucking huge. So it's for um, to cover public image and to cover the masses and to satiate the masses because something huge has happened. And that's just the truth. They do not want to admit they're wrong, but they are. And there's many series of chain events. They're about to have to do this. And stolen money is about to be recovered soon. Okay, I heard they do not want to admit they're wrong, but I heard they are. And through many series, of, uh, or they were, or are, what have you, what have you. And through many series of chain events, um, they're about to have to basically publicly admit they were wrong. Um, it sounds like to you, whoever you are, and it sounds like you deserve it. You most certainly deserve it. Way deserve it. These people have treated you like trash. But the mini series of chain of events is about to be ironed out one step at a time. Oh, okay. So, um, I heard, uh, you've been treated like trash by these people. You've been treated like trash by these people. And it sounds like they can't stand you. It sounds like they can't stand you, but it's because I think you're a truth speaker, a whistleblower, and you speak the truth or something of that nature. You basically stand up when other people don't, and they can't stand this. So much so that they owe you a public apology. But in their narcissistic mind, they don't want to do it because it makes them look bad. But the reality is, is they were in the wrong. 
they should have to apologize. But God forbid they have to publicly apologize to admit they were wrong. Energy is what I'm feeling here. But I heard through many series of shame events, they're about to have to do it whether they want to or not. And that's the thing. They should have to, whether they want to or not, because that's the right thing to do. I heard it's going to happen whether they want to or not. So it, I heard it should have happened approximately a year ago. So approximately September 20, uh, 29th of 2022 to October of 2020, uh, 2021. September 2021 to October 2021 in the past. If that resonates and applies. It is an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Fourth, Moon, and Hammer, Jupiter, Charge. You plug in how it resonates. And I heard stolen money is about to be returned too. I heard that part too. I don't know if I said that earlier in here. But stolen money is about to be returned too. So somehow stolen money is involved in this too. And this might be why this air sign doesn't want to publicly apologize to you because I think they might have stolen your fucking money. And I'm just being for real. Someone's about to make a very, 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 very important phone call very soon. On the thieves. Someone's about to make a very, very, very important phone call soon on the, I heard thieves us, so two or two plus thieves. So I think people maybe um, got together in a group dynamic and stole from you or somebody stole it and split the money. I don't know. I just heard thieves us, so two or two plus thieves. Someone's about to uh, make a very important phone call on the thieves soon, so two or two plus thieves. Could be you about to make this very important phone call on the thieves or somebody you're connected to, but somebody knows about some thieves and I feel they might be air sign thieves and I'm just being for real or somebody connected to the air sign. Very narcissistic air sign. This is some crazy shit. You know, if more people did the right thing in the universe, we wouldn't have crazy shit happen. And that's just the truth if anybody needs to hear that. Someone wanted to take everything from you, your entire happiness. And they did. For the most part. But through many series of chain of events. They took everything they could take. But through many series of chain of events. They're about to have to give back what they did take. Money and kids. Oh shit. This is some deep shit. Who? This is some masochist energy. Somebody is mentally disturbed. I heard they wanted, and I'm serious, I heard they want to take everything, all your happiness away from you that they could take. So I heard money and kids. So they took your money and your kids, two or two plus kids, and your money. Which those things made you happy or make you happy. And they know that. So they just want to make you, un like why would you want to make somebody unhappy? That makes no fucking sense. Hashtag live free. Let people... I love, leave them alone to live their best life. Whatever the best life is for them. Not try to make them miserable. Whoever this person is, they're like a masochist. They want to make somebody miserable intentionally. And I heard they took away everything they could take away from you. I heard money and kids. So they had a hand in get, taking your kids away from you. And I feel it wasn't right. And your money. But through many series of shame events, I heard you're about to get that back. Your money and your kids. This is like using kids as pawns. This is some sick shit. And that's just the truth. Alright, let me see if I hear anything else. I'm going to pull one card. And then I'm going to close it. I get to go see my kids this weekend. So. And I see you Spirit message is here up collective. Shaman, ancient healing wisdom. Breach. Yeah, I think this is this person about to reveal the information on somebody that took away your kids and your money. 
Um, they wanted, or they want to take away all the happiness away from you that they possibly could. And they know your kids make you happy. And obviously, well, money makes anybody happy. It makes it easier in life. And that's just the truth. Um, I'm just being for real. I mean, who the hell doesn't like having a fat bank account? Um, now, if it's not on stolen money, I don't want no fat bank account if you if you fucking bringing it in and I ain't supposed to have it. And that's just the truth. But if I am earned it in a proper manner, in some shape, form, or fashion, or it is mine through some kind of will or an inheritance or trust fund baby energy or something like that, then hell yeah. Breach. Um, breach of information. Whoever this air sign is, they're very like masochist type energy. And I'm just being for real, for real. We have breach and ancient healing wisdom. This air sign is getting spiritually attacked. Spiritually attacked. Serious spiritual jail energy here and serious spiritual attack energy. And it will continue until the right thing is done. Know this. Oh my God. I heard this air sign is getting seriously, seriously spiritually attacked in the spiritual realm and the three, uh, and the everyday world. Um, and I heard it's going to continue until the right thing's done. So, um, it doesn't sound like it's going to go away. It sounds like it's going to get worse until they do the right thing. Spirit guides attacking their ass in the spiritual realm and they're in spiritual jail. So they're, they're not good in the spiritual realm. It don't sound like they ever have been, but in all fairness, it sounds like they're on the dark side. I mean, they had a hand in taking somebody's kids away. that shouldn't have been taken away and stealing somebody's money. How much more evil can a person be? And that's just the truth. But somebody knows this. They're about to breach the information. I mean, has this person ever heard of hashtag live free, live and let live? If it, I mean, obviously they wanted this person to just be miserable. But why do you want another individual to be miserable? Why? There's something seriously screws loose in your head if you want an ill will for another individual. If this air sign needs to hear that. And I'm just being for real. Maybe you wasn't loved as a child. Maybe you were abused as a child. Well, maybe you should go to therapy if that's the case, air sign, okay? Don't try to bring this upon other people. Don't project your past onto other people if anybody needs to hear that, okay? Because I feel like this might be projection here. Maybe you were abused as a child, molested as a child, neglected as a child, or you didn't feel you were properly treated as a child, air sign, well, or as a young adult, or what have you, what have you. Like, there's no healing, no shadow work done there, is what I'm saying. Well, if that's the case, it sounds like you're projecting this onto another individual by stealing their money and their kids, and they don't even deserve it. There are things called counseling and therapy and shadow work and inner healing and work and growth. If anybody needs to hear that air sign, sounds like you probably need to do one or two or two plus of those things. I'm not telling you to do those things, but those are suggestions because you it sounds like you're projecting all this onto another person. And like you're a, a position of high authority and abuse of power, all because something that happened to you in your past by another person or people. Well, I'm sure this person that, that you helped get their kids taken away or their money stolen from, I, I'm sure they haven't done shit to you. They haven't done anything to this person. And it's about to, in a negative sense. And it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. Oh my God. That's confirmation. I heard the person that you helped steal their kids and their money, heard they haven't done anything negative to you in, in a negative sense. So they, they, they've they either put positive out into your life in a positive poop state manner, or they've done nothing to you, period, in a negative sense. How that resonate, resonates and applies air, air sign. But I heard it's about to backfire on you in a huge way. Hashtag stay in your lane. Or quit abusing power, if anybody needs to hear that. Breach, spirit guides. This is spirit attacks in the spiritual realm with spiritual jail. And this is 3D. Because I heard they're about to get it in the 3D and the everyday world. Well, in all fairness, it sounds like they, this person deserves it. They're projecting abusive power and their past 
abuse or wrongdoings done to them in the past onto another person. You can't, I mean, you're not supposed to do that. If anybody needs to hear that. This air sign's plans are about to backfire in a huge way. This air sign's plans are about to backfire in a huge way. So this Gemini Libra Aquarius' plans are about to backfire in a huge way. Well, you shouldn't project onto other people and steal what's not yours. And that's just the truth. All right. Love you guys so much. And namaste.